Here's your NBC 26 update. I'm Nina Sperano. We begin with a look at the very latest of the coronavirus pandemic here in Wisconsin. Today is day two of the safer at home order. There are now 707 confirmed cases of the virus here in Wisconsin. That's up 81 new cases since yesterday. The total deaths are now at eight. A 57-year-old West Alice woman has died from coronavirus complications, according to the Milwaukee County Medical Examiner's Office. To stay up to date with the latest information, go to NBC26.com or you can download our smartphone app. Lambeau Field and Title Town will remain closed to the public until April 24th. In an announcement today, the Packers officials say the closure will continue to apply to all Lambeau Field atrium businesses, including the Packers Pro Shop, Packers Hall of Fame, and 1919 Kitchen and Tap, as well as all team-run public activities in Title Town. That includes the playground at 46 Below, as well as the turn. If you've seen prices skyrocket on some products during the coronavirus outbreak, the Better Business Bureau has some tips if you want to report price gouging. Be as specific as possible, including the names and businesses of the and information detailing the spike in pricing. Gather documentation to support the claim, like receipts. And finally, compare pricing of similar products with other sellers in the area as well as online. Now it's time for a quick check on your weather. Here is Chief Meteorologist Cameron Moreland. Cameron. Thanks, Nina. We're seeing a mixture of clouds and sunshine across northeast Wisconsin this afternoon. More sunshine north, more clouds south. Temperatures range from the upper 30s to the mid 40s. And we do have gusty northeast winds at times, especially right near the lake and bay. Temperatures are cooler than what we saw yesterday. But if you look off to the south and west, you can see some warmer conditions. 49 in Minneapolis. We've got 55 in Des Moines. That warmer weather is going to start to push back in here tomorrow. So look for highs in the upper 40s to lower 50s. We'll see sunshine mixing with some clouds before a big storm arrives over the weekend, a storm that could produce some locally heavy rain, gusty winds, and maybe some lakeshore flooding. For your very latest news, sports, and weather, make sure you download the NBC26 News app. It's available in the App Store and on Google Play. It's free. Just search for WGBA. Have a great day.